Lita Witham is currently taking refuge on her kitchen bench with four others as floodwaters continue to rise in her home in South Lismore. The group can't get out. They haven't been able to get through to the SES or Triple O. Lita joins us now on the phone. Lita, <clears throat> good morning to you. I'm so sorry you're in this situation. I do want to say straight away the first thing that we have done is made contact with the SES for you. They know that you're in strife there. They are trying to do everything they can. And uh, it, it is a desperate situation at the moment in Lismore. Lita, what, what have you seen over the last couple of hours? Well, we're um, um, five adults and uh, three dogs and three cats. We're all um, actually sitting on the kitchen benches um, in a, a house on stilts where the water is now 14 metres fr from, the, from the ground. We're sitting on benches, as I said, and my feet are in the water. The fridge is just about to go over. And um, fortunately, it's light, but um, the SES know we're here, but they're inundated. The dogs are sitting up on the kitchen bench. Oh, look, it's just a nightmare. I'm sorry. Yeah, look, we're I can, all a bit I can feel we're it. All a bit frightened. These, we're very frightened. These are your pictures that we're looking at now that you've yes. sent through. I can imagine you are you are frightened. This, this is you just over the last couple of hours as you've been waiting, trying to get those phone calls through yeah. to give people a bit of an idea. Where are you in Lismore compared to Wilson's River and the main town? Uh, well, we're in South Lismore and the river is uh, not that far away, actually. Um, I, flew, I flew up from Melbourne for my great niece's seventh birthday, stupidly, um, and... Uh, Completely stuck here. I mean, it's just awful. From the from the river, we're probably what a kilometre from the river or less. Couple, yeah, five hundred metres probably. Yeah. You need the Lismore train station, I think, aren't you? Exactly. Sort of up around That's that end. where we are. It's just across the road. Yes. Yeah. How, how high is your home? Um, twelve point nine metres. That's is how, that right? Is it? It's a two story house you're in. OK, we, we, we have 14 metres in the house of water now. 14 metres? Yes. And how fast is it rising? Uh, well, it's running a river down the back. Um, yes, uh, there's, a, there's a, a, a laneway down the back and it's just running running so fast. And coming um, up in the house, Lita, what are you watching? House, what very, are you looking very at? Very quickly, I'm looking at... Well, my feet are in the... I'm sitting on a table... My feet are in the water. There's nowhere, nowhere to go. And once, once we've got about another six inches, and we're all, we're all, oh, well, we're gonna have to swim out. I don't know what we can do. <gasps> oh, and the fridge is just about to go. Oh dear. Yes. People next door on the roof. We're gonna have to somehow get on the roof. I'm sorry. Talking on the radio. Are you okay. going to be able to get on the roof, do you think? We, we don't know. We don't know. We're going to try. Look, I'm going to have to go. This is getting serious now. Leader, we've, we've, got, really the S we've got the SES trying to get their way to you, Leader. We've given them your address. I know. Good yeah, luck, Leader. Good luck. Us and plenty of other people, darling. Thank you very much. Right. right. Uh, yes. Wow. And listen, uh, that, that figures with the latest uh, alert we've got from that area. Flood waters are predicted to reach 14 metres in northern New South Wales in the city of Lismore. That is a metre higher than the record set back in 1880. Yeah. Rainfall of more than half a metre has fallen across hinterland catchments on the New South Wales north coast. It's seeing rising flood waters affecting dozens of communities, thousands of homes, including litres and her family there. She's up from Melbourne, obviously. And the Bureau is saying major flood peaking at 10.6 metres in Lismore Central Business District. It's already at 13 metres. Uh, we heard from our reporter uh, that uh, they're describing this as catastrophic and we've just heard one tiny catastrophe playing out in Lita's family home. And I just want to explain that Lita contacted me on social media because she was so desperate not being able to get in touch with Triple O or SES. The first thing that we did was get in touch with the authorities and tell them that Lita and her family needed help as soon as possible. She's in that South Lismore area, Kyogle Street. Uh, if you're anywhere around there, please be safe. She was saying the neighbours are up on the roof already. Clearly, that is the situation that is 
fast developing and the SES have, you know, they are doing everything they can. Mm. But as our reporter Bruce McKenzie said, it happened way quicker Absolutely. than what they anticipated. So listen... Uh...